Hello and welcome to CraftsVilla.com. In today's video training, we will cover how to manage your CraftsVilla vendor panel. For logging into CraftsVilla vendor panel, go to www.craftsvilla.com slash marketplace slash vendor. You need to have your username and password to start accessing your vendor panel. Once logged in, you'll have a list of options available on the left of your screen. The first option available here is dashboard. The default login page is basically the dashboard which shows you details of the orders that you have got. It will give you details like shipment ID, shipment date, payment method, payout status which basically means the remittance has been made to you or not, shipment status, items which means the number of items that the buyer has bought and it will give you an option to download the packing slip. The filter shipments available on the top of the screen is in case if you want to search a specific shipment or shipments on specific date or shipment by statuses. Let's look at few actions that you can take from this particular section of your vendor panel. So I'll expand this particular shipment number. It shows me details like image of the item bought, title of the item, the internal SKU code, the quantity of this particular item, amount and discount details. It also gives me the address and one of the actions that I can take from here is I can add tracking details. So in case if I have shipped this item and I want to add tracking detail, I'll have to come to this section as you can see on the screen. I'll add tracking number here, say it's D12345, the courier name, comments is an optional box that you have and you can change the status. There are two options available, one is processing and the other is ship to customer. Please note that these two options are available in case if you have an order from India. So for domestic orders, we have processing and ship to customer. Default status is processing as soon as the order flows in. I can change it to ship to customer and then I can click submit. So this is the first action that I can take from this particular page. Another action that I can take from here is I can leave a feedback for my buyer. Sellers can generally leave only positive feedback to buyer, hence there is no option here to select negative or neutral. I can just put the comments for the buyer and click submit. Let's look at an international order and how does the page look like. This is another order which I am opening. Here the address is of United States, so this is an international order. I have the option of add, adding the tracking detail. I have the option of adding courier name and the status. In domestic I have processing and ship to customer. Here I have processing and ship to Crafts Villa. Reason being currently all international orders are being shipped centralized from our Bombay office. So in case if I have shipped my order to Crafts Villa office, I can select ship to Crafts Villa and say submit. Similarly I can leave a feedback from here. So this basically covers the action that you can take post transaction from your seller dashboard. Another feature available here is the packing slip download. Once you click this, it will open up a invoice which, which contains the basic details of the order that you would want to have on the invoice which goes along with the parcel. The next option available on your dashboard is settings. Under settings, you will see different options like account information, vendor bank and other details, vendor policies, integration, statement and microsite. In account information, it's the basic uh, vendor name, the owner of the shop, the login ID, the password and the telephone number. Next is bank and other details. Uh, these are your bank details, the description of your shop, uh, your shop logo, uh, shop picture and shop banner. Uh, these are things which you can control from here. 
uh, then there are other bank details like account number and uh, IFSC code the next option available is vendor policies uh, these are basically the return policy uh, that you would like to design uh, you would like to keep it consistent for all your items uh, so you can select from here uh, the return policy the handling time uh, which basically means the number of days you would want after getting the payment to ship the item and there are further details that you can specify or explaining what will be your exact return policy uh, the next available option is uh, integration uh, this is more of the email ID that uh, on which you want to receive your new order email uh, then there is statement uh, which as of now just has one option of uh, what is the percentage that you have agreed with Crafts Villa then there is microsite which uh, basically contains uh, keywords which leads to your shop after settings uh, the option available on your vendor panel are manage products add product these are two options which we have covered in detail in another separate video which basically talks about adding product on craftsvilla.com and how do we manage the stock and inventory level of the same the next option is shop stats uh, this basically shows the statistics of your shop uh, right from the day of activation till now uh, it shows the page views the shop views the product views uh, and the revenue the total sales and the total uh, number of orders that you have generated and the average order value let's move to the next option available under vendor panel which is reports reports will give you details of the transactions that you have had during a specific period in this case I'll select the period as 1st June till 15 June and click on shipment sale report this gives me details of the transactions in a PDF format it gives me date shipment number amount payout status is the remittance status whether the amount is remitted to me or not payout date commission percentage and the amount of commission deducted and the net amount that I'll get as remittance if I were to run the same report in itemized sale report format I'll get these same details in the form of CSV the last option available under vendor panel is inbox recently we have launched member to member communication on our site wherein buyers can directly contact the sellers for any pre-sale or post-sale queries all those queries will be available in your inbox and you can reply them right from here we hope you found this video training helpful and it will help you to manage your business effectively on craftsvilla.com. We wish you all the best. Happy selling. Thank you.